it's day three in Amsterdam and today started off with a little bit of a panic because I had a phone call from my mum, she couldn't get into the building and she's looking after our cat but thankfully and then she got in so I think it's fine now. Because the weather isn't too great, we're just going to skip the one meal, lose out on I think £30, for yours because we already pre-booked it and just do something else today. There's someone knocking at the door. It's probably Irving. Let me see what oh my god, I'm walking up because of my car. One second. <laughs> he went to come get me some orange juice and he got himself a tea. No, actually, I'll give it to Irving because drama happened yesterday, not just today. Drama happens every day. As I got to my station, I tried coming out of the gates and it wasn't working. I was like, huh? Let's try it again, it wasn't working, try it again, it wasn't working, try the next gate that wasn't working. I was like, huh? What the hell? No, anyway, so this woman goes past, she tries it, it works. I was like, okay, so I'll try it one more time. And I realized the woman says that it expires at midnight and then the next day starts at 4 a.m. So it means my card expired. I mean, so I was just there waiting between getting to the other side and in the train station. So I was just there, like, this is nice. <laughs> <laughs> so I literally felt like being caged. And I was thinking just jumping over the barriers. But I just didn't know if I would get fined or anything like that. So I'd get arrested. Probably wouldn't do it. So anyway, um, this woman was walking past and I like tried stopping her in a way. You know, like, Stop. You know, more like, and um, she took off her headphones and she like, explained, you know, I'm trying to get past, it's alright to come in, like, with her. And she said, Yeah, but she has a spare ticket. I was like, You have a spare ticket? She goes, Yeah, I got this one, and then uh, she's got like this other, like, card. So luckily, she let me go for the gates with her spare ticket. I managed to get home, or at least to the hotel. Good story. <laughs> We've got screens on here. Um, from the left to right, the earliest to the latest train. If you don't think you can make it to your one train, go to the next one. Because I tried doing that, I thought, oh, two minutes, I'll be able to make that. Now I missed it. So, good luck when you travel. We're going to the second floor. The top floor? The top? That's the top floor. No, the top floor. <laughs> yeah, you know, you know. Just know what you know. You know? In terms of food, it looks like they have Italian, Chinese, over there, I'm not sure if you can see it. Just there is Japanese. I'm not sure what that one is. They got beef over there. Um, where the hell did some go? Okay. Over there, they got some salt. It's a healthy eating sort of place. Look to it. Um, yeah, I'm guessing some sort of chicken one. I'm guessing that's sort of like a uh, dessert place. I'm trying to guess by the logo that they got. Hi, Sam. I'm hungry. You done? Waiting on Irving. I'm actually hoping that by the time Irving gets back, 
we can go on a tuk-tuk because I got these tuk-tuks over there and I think it'd be really cool. But I might moan about money and be like, it's more expensive. But I mean, come on. Hi, Mr. Or only be 20 minutes. Oh, he's gone and bought some trainers in a really cool bag, by the way. Let's see it. Yeah. It's so nice. Oh my god. Ooh. Take one out, take one out. So these are the trainers that he went and bought himself, it's a late birthday tree. I was just saying um, about getting a tuk-tuk because I think it'd be really fun. Tuk-tuk? A tuk-tuk, there's some tuk-tuks over there. <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna go because I want to take some photos, as I said, by the column of me and Irvin and then we're gonna try and get a tuk-tuk and head towards Wagamama. Bye! Say bye. Bye. So we decided to go on a tuk-tuk. <laughs> Guy was very nice to us and allowed us to go on it for 15 to Hard Rock Cafe from Cam. It's usually 20, so expect to pay 20. He was just very kind of us. Oh, sorry, kind to us. We just got locked out of our room. Um, our room is over there. Our key isn't working for some reason. So Evan's had to go down to reception. He's back. What happened? Um, but I don't know, there was some sort of fault. I don't know if a lot of guests were affected by it. Drama. But we're going in. We just been through all our new stuff. Which got quite a lot. Looked at the stuff that I bought my mum. I still need to buy a gift for my nan. A minute ago, <laughs> he stood on that chair over there because he's trying to take a photo of all the items and, I bought. I'll, I'll, I'll try and recreate. Yeah, hold on. He'll try and recreate it because it was just so funny. So I had the phone in on the selfie stick and I was trying to take a photo of everything that's on the bed. But I couldn't like get high enough for me to see the screen. So <laughs> I thought, oh, I just, I just jump on this thing. So as I got up on this thing, I saw it. Turn around, I'm like, this is great. <laughs> but I was, I was spinning at this story. <laughs> and I just looked it over and was like, oh my god, what the f? Okay. Oh, I swore, I'm sorry, you're going to have to bleep that. Right. I you know swore. How much break that is? <laughs> sorry. So, as people who've seen our Rome vlog, I muck up a lot, even though a lot of it was never captured on the actual vlog, was it? Um, you know what, I don't know whether, like, I'm just going to point this out, my eyebrows are bugging me, so I can not see But I've done so much embarrassing stuff already, so we were in Primark, and <laughs> I'm going to tell, <laughs> and I walked towards the escalator, and I was so confused because there's a woman coming up, and I couldn't work out why, and I realised it's because there's an escalator coming up, not down. <sighs> but not only, there's loads of embarrassing stuff, um, oh, my train, my train, <laughs> I don't want to train my people. <laughs> <laughs> um, my trainer almost got stuck between the train and the platform and came, almost came off. Thankfully it didn't. I can't remember what else happened. Come on, because I said loads today. Oh! So the waitress comes over, but she, um, it's a, di a different waitress asked me if my food was okay, but then another one came over to ask Irvin if his food was okay. She's got her, so, you know, she's kind of got her back to me. So she's facing directly to Irvin and she goes to him, is your food okay, sir? And I went, yeah, it's lovely. And I asked her for it. <laughs> I was like, what did I do? <laughs> Basically, I will muck up on every holiday. There's probably like a number of things that I've done and we just can't remember them. Um, which I really want to know now. Can you remember any? Anything that I did? Uh, 
Oh, I spilled ketchup down my top on in the airport, my nice new outfit. <laughs> so we go over to the counter and I'm buying something for my mum and a woman speaks Dutch and I'm like, huh? So she said it again in Dutch, so I'm like, like I look at her and like, help me. And she's oh, I'm so sorry. And she obviously speaks in English, but she basically just asked me if I wanted a bag. But I have to say, in Italy, the language is kind of easy to pick up. But here, Dutch language is really hard to understand. Even Earth is not, not even a spoken Dutch at all, by the way. Hey, and I said thank you. He said thank you. But also, when we landed on the plane, <laughs> when we landed, because we've been watching this um, Easy at Cockpit thing, it says retard, retard, and Irvin doesn't know what it means, but he's yeah. immature, <laughs> he's immature, so when we were landing, he was going, retard, retard, but I'm just like thinking, like, can you imagine, like, if someone thought you just calling them that, and how, like, offended they would be, you didn't, he didn't stop to think about people listening to that, and, unless they just thought he was a bit, like, stupid. <laughs> See, so it's day four, <laughs> day four, right? Yeah. Um, it's. Today. <laughs> I think it's Wednesday. <laughs> yeah, it's Wednesday. It's really weird because you're keeping track of dates and stuff like that. It's just kind of like, um, wait, what? So today we've kind of had like a little bit of a late. I'm going sneeze. <coughs> oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> um, yeah, so today we're basically going to a canal cruise which is like linked with the Heineken experience and then we're doing the Heineken experience body works gotta go back to time up because we'll take them back <coughs> oh my blah, blah, blah. Hi. So remember how we couldn't find Tram 19? We just got an Uber to the tram place stop. And as we're coming, well, as we're sitting in the Uber, the guy says, Is this the way play? And we say, Well, yeah, we're just trying to find Tram 19 because we won't be able to find it. And one just goes past. Um, so, there, upstairs, you know, the ground level, that's where the train station is. Over there, ground level, is the tram station. But here, in between the Holiday Inn and the train station, is a tram stop where we need to go and there's also it looks like a bus sort of depot. depot as well yeah hi hi everybody we are currently waiting for our canal cruise and behind us is the Heineken which we're doing after and in front of us is the canal cruise we're waiting to get off We've just found this little restaurant in the park and it's, um, what was it? Carousel. It's like a carousel. They actually have like the horses, like on the poles and stuff you like can that. Actually sit on them. I'm not sure if you can sit on them, but they, they are tables like around there, so. Yeah, and they got pancakes. I don't like pancakes. What? You still want to try red heron or just heron? I think it's just heron. But also, you have to buy Dunkin' Donuts today because you haven't done that yet. And try some of the more Dutch food. If, if you do decide to stay where we were and slaughter a dike. Okay, here we go. So the people who are actually on the trains, they say slaughter a dike. Right? But when the announcer says it, they say slaughter deep. So 
I'm not really sure how you say it anymore. Okay, so I'm just gonna go with how I feel it should be said. Just like a geek. Oh my god. Mm, it's a bit cold today. It's not warm like the other today. It's not cold. You have a hoodie. It's still cold. Turn it on, Sam. So we're currently in the Heineken experience, um, but there's like a lot of stairs and obviously my back still struggles to handle that so the woman basically lets us use the elevator and if we had towed it to start at all then we'd have been able to use the elevator more. But yeah, um, just waiting for Abby to do some photos out here and then we're going to go through to this bit. Sometimes the way it sounds might hurt, but it's all good Cause as long as we together and as long as it's clever I don't care about the weather, let it rain Me and my conscience had a talk today Told me when I see the trouble, better walk away Wait, sometimes you gotta space out Sometimes you gotta change route Sometimes Sort of like the suspect Sort of like you gotta get it Sort of like it's not a riddle Lyrically I'm such a swordsman Sort of like the suspect you need to the gym where you can go to the Heineken experience? Uh, just there. You going to do something? So I was slipping off that bike and I don't know how to pedal because I couldn't pedal. I struggled. <laughs> yeah. Sort of like you gotta get it. Sort of like it's not a riddle. Sometimes... Hey, so we're currently in this 
really cool cafe, which is this. It's like a carousel. carousel. That's cool. Yeah, and um, yeah, even if you don't drink beer, it's well worth it because it's such interactive. And if you have kids, they don't allow you to drink the beer. But they've got fun like subject, you know that like um, there's a karaoke thing, there's a photo booth. And you'll see there they've got a store there as well and you can um, get like for example like a Heineken glass and you can get your name engraved. That's pretty good touch. And then if you anything that you can get like for example like the metal um, key rings and stuff like that, you can get that engraved in your name as well. So as you can tell the weather is not really great. But we're in the <laughs> <laughs> um, one of these. So you can plug it into there. And I'm guessing it's like a like an audio type of thing. Um, I'm not sure if they talk or if you put this in and you listen, so we have to go past and like so I think going to tell you about what that is. Yeah. But either way, we sat right at the back because things go up there. We are allowed, but, but it's just raining. Yeah. Not exactly where we're at, but as I said, it's warm in here, we're dry, out of the rain. We'll just do another vote for tomorrow, tomorrow if it's warm. Yeah. Body World. Uh, 6 he said, didn't he? Sorry, exhibition, yeah. Uh, it's house reversed, but it's exhibition. Locomotion, circulation, respiration, and di 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 digestion, filtration, reproduction, prenatal development, in body, be, and exit. How not to be fat? But uh, we'll do like some recordings around here and then after that we're gonna get a drink. <laughs> Over there, poor woman. So he does a little thing. Oh, but I don't know how to sit on the screen because he fell.
Sam. Started to run out a bike in Amsterdam because you know why not? I'm going to be doing some photography around. I found some really good locations. Hopefully, they all turn out to be like what it's supposed to be. And uh, yeah, I asked for the rules and everything, guys. I said, you know, just follow road signs, the lights, stay on the right, not the left. Um, that's that's basically it. Sidewalks are meant for pedestrians, so longer on the sidewalks. And yeah, everybody has their own lane. Stick to that. See you in there. photos so when it came to like recording I was like nah not have much time so yeah today is the last day no, we're, gonna, we're gonna get picked up and um, one thing you should know have money on a card yeah. um, Amsterdam is like really good for that sort of thing um, Pay my card a lot, like a lot of places. They won't, they won't accept cash. Um, so having a card with money on it is very handy. Um, like especially here. Also, the other thing, getting around by bike is really easy, and I recommend doing that. Or by tram. Or by tram, but Google Maps is not always reliable for that. Google Maps is reliable for showing you how to get there, with but, but when it comes to tram, mm, not so much. You have to work out yourself. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's not that hard. If you know what you're doing, then yeah, fair enough. But it can be like a little bit difficult. Um, also, the other thing is booking a taxi. Never get it from the airport to your hotel. Unless you book it for your hotel. Unless you book it for your hotel because they charge so much more. Um, so yeah, always pre-book it with your hotel and they will do you like a fixed rate, which is much cheaper and much better. Um, and that's it really. Yeah, and I'll show you a little place that was sitting on a luggage or guests. Little place, isn't it? Yeah, it's nice. But that's the end of our Amsterdam trip. Yeah. And now we've already got the next one planned for February. So, see you in the next one. Bye bye. Bye, have a wonderful time.